good. The midnight train to George. I hadn't had that one. Uh, I want to thank everyone for at the Home Delivery World 2015 conference, really for inviting me to spend a few minutes with you. I'm thrilled to be here with some of the most exciting and growing businesses. Businesses my wife and I patronize all the time. My brothers and their wives patronize, and believe you me, I hear about it from my staff all of the time. Businesses like Guilt Group, Fresh Direct, Plated, and Instacart have a tremendous amount of energy and are growing and really changing the economy all of the time. There are some companies that have been industry leaders for decades that continue to lead the way in the home delivery space as well. Companies like eBay, PayPal, Office Depot, Saks Fifth Avenue, and Harry and David, among others. Here in Atlanta, we love Hotels.com because we have 45 million people who decide to visit our city every single year. And because of the amount of people who are visiting us, we're now among the top five most visited cities in the United States of America. In fact, hotel occupancy hit a record high in Atlanta in 2014. It was up 8.1% from 2013, making the city of Atlanta number one in growth among the top 25 tourist destinations in America. So it's easy to see that when business is good for your companies, uh, it's also good for our city as well. And that's why I wanted to be per here personally to welcome you all to Atlanta. And I really do believe that you have picked a nice time to visit our city. Uh, spring is one of my favorite times here. And we have a spring tradition in Atlanta. Thousands of local homeowners flock to the Home Depot every weekend to get their spring gardens done and to take on that project that you've been leaving on the side. It's like an annual rite of passage. Because of your business, it will probably get a little easier in the future, I suspect. Spring is a time of excitement, and things are certainly exciting in Atlanta right now. For those of you who are basketball fans, you may know that our Atlanta Hawks, since the number one seed in the Eastern Conference NBA playoffs, I just had to put that in the speech. That was my edit. So. Uh, but that's not the only thing we have going on. I'm here today to talk to you about why the city of Atlanta can be the best possible partner for businesses and companies like yours. Businesses like the Home Depot, the Coca-Cola Company, Delta Airlines, SunTrust Bank, NC, NCR, and UPS already know. We take transportation and logistics very, very seriously here. And we know that's a core element of all of your businesses and what it will take for you to continue to have the kind of success that you're experiencing. You know, one of the stories I think about often as mayor is that Candler Field was an airfield founded in 1925 by William Hartsfield. And it was named for the former mayor of Atlanta and the Coca-Cola founder, Asa Candler. I think it's a good place to start any conversation about our city Number one, because Coca-Cola runs through a lot of the Atlanta's history here, but it also shows how we get things done. So just 12 miles from where we are right now, there was a mayor who had a vision for an airport, and he then went and met with C. Woman, who was in Monroe, Louisiana, and had a crop dusting airline at the time. He persuaded C. Woman to move to the city of Atlanta. He gave him a 50-year lease out at Hartsville-Jackson Airport, and what was once an old racetrack is now the busiest passenger airport on the planet. And it relates directly to why we have become what we are, which is the most important economy in the southeastern region of the United States of America. It was a mayor's vision, partnering with the business community at that time, leaders from Coca-Cola and Delta Airline, that now give us a level of connectivity that is almost unmatched. So 12 miles from where we are right now, when you get on a plane, preferably a Delta plane, but when you get on a plane to go wherever you are, uh, yeah, I see Richard Anderson all the time. A happy Richard Anderson is a happy mayor. Um, you can be to 80% of the US GDP within two hours or less. By the time it takes from you to truck up the peninsula from uh, Miami, 16 hours, you can be in six states if you're leaving from the city of Atlanta, and a number more markets. Right here in the city of Atlanta, right now, 
We have a metropolitan area of six million individuals, and we have a GDP of $300 billion. To give you some order of comparison, our metro's GDP is bigger than 33 states in the union. So I think that we are a good market for you to be in, and we deal with tough problems. Uh, just two weeks ago, our Republican governor uh, passed a $940 million road improvement program to take on one of our biggest issues, which is traffic congestion in the Atlanta metropolitan region. Uh, he and members in the House and Senate took courageous votes because they understood that we needed to take on transportation. And all over America, people are crying out for bipartisanship. And that's exactly what Governor Nathan Deal and I have done. And that's why we have broken ground on the deepening of the port in Savannah, which is critical to the logistics business. So we will deepen the port of Savannah and we, we will make it available to Panamex ships, uh, which will make us an even more competitive market. Right now, the port of Savannah is the fastest growing seaport in, on the eastern seaboard of the United States. And we can see a time within 30 years where the port of Savannah will actually compete head to head with the ports of New York and New Jersey. But we'll do it without the labor cost and we'll do it without all of the regulations that go along with the port of New Jersey and the port of New York. That wouldn't have happened if it were not for Governor Nathan Deal and I working shoulder to shoulder in order to get the deepening approved in the Port of Savannah. And because of that, the metropolitan region is going to benefit significantly because about 100,000 jobs are supported by that port. Another reason that I think that the metropolitan Atlanta region is a good choice uh, for all of you is because we have the third largest concentration of Fortune 500 businesses in the United States of America and you can get to us in an efficient manner. So that means that no matter where you are on the business food chain, whether you are a highly successful, large, complex organization, or whether you're a startup with a dream, 15, 20, 30, 40 employees, your business can go and get an order. And at the end of the day, that really is what it's all about. So just imagine if you're a startup, or a mid-sized company, and you get an order from a Coca-Cola, or a UPS, or a Delta, what that does to the trajectory of your business. An order from Coca-Cola, or UPS, or Delta, or Home Depot, that dog hunts all over the world. So once you get your order, you can then expand your business and be the 80% of the United States of America in two hours or less. We also have a workforce that will support your businesses. We have more than 57 colleges and universities within an hour's drive of where we're standing right now, which means we've got an awful lot of talent. As terrible as the Ebola crisis was, and goodness gracious, it was terrible, when they were looking for the cure, the folks were landing in Atlanta, Georgia, and going to the Centers for Disease Control which is about 30 miles away, 30 minutes away from where we are right here and right now. The Georgia Tech degree is one of the most well-respected technology degrees, not only in the United States of America, but in the world. And so what we're doing right now in the city of Atlanta is working harder than ever to retain our technology graduates. Because the fact of the matter is, until recently, um, we were losing 50% of all the Georgia Tech's graduates to other parts of the world as opposed to creating an environment that would keep them here. And so we've taken that on. Uh, uh, the person who introduced me referenced um, our strength in technology. The city of Atlanta, where we are right here right now, is now number eight in the United States of America in venture capital investment. And the primary reason for that is because of all of the knowledge that is coming out of Georgia Tech, and then we have a community of people who can become a part of your organizations. So what's that done to Atlanta? A few miles from where we sit right now, less than three, I believe, 
Uh, NCR just made the decision to move into the city limits and build a $260 million new headquarters directly across the street from Georgia Tech. AT&T made the decision to build their foundry, um, foundry center, technology center, just a couple of blocks away. WorldPay moved 1,200 jobs right over to Atlantic Station. So again and again and again, you're seeing a real ecosystem of technology being built in the city of Atlanta. And so what's happening is businesses are voting with their feet. And I think the reason that they're voting with their feet is because we have a local government and a state government that is well run and that does the basics well. I've been mayor of the city of Atlanta for five years now. When I walked in the door, we had a $48 million hold in our budget and we were moving in the right direction. I'm pleased to say with the help of so many people in this room and so many folks in the business community, we've balanced five budgets. We've grown our cash reserves from 7.4 million to more than 142 million. We took on a pension crisis. We had a $1.5 billion pension, unfunded pension liability that was eating 18% of our cash. And we had a police force that was too small. As I stand here right now, we've had five balanced budgets, an unqualified audit opinion from our auditor KPMG. We have $142 million in the bank, headed to $160 million in our general fund. We have the busiest passenger airport on the planet Earth, which the city controls, and it has been number one in passenger traffic and in efficiency. And we have a government that gets out of the way. And I understand that you only really want government around when you need it. And because of that reason, NCR choosing Atlanta. In two weeks, we'll have the opening for the Porsche Cars, head, Porsche Cars North American headquarters right on the campus of Hartsfield-Jackson. Serta Simmons moved their headquarters to Buckhead. WorldPay moved over to Atlantic Station. Again and again and again, eight headquarters in, in total, including Pulte Group Homes, the second largest home builder in the United States of America, left Michigan and moved their headquarters here. And then you're also seeing the stickiness that is required among the millennials. If you go just a few miles from here, you'll go and take a look at Pont City Market, which was a two million square foot building that used to be an eyesore. Today, Twitter is moving their offices in there. Jonathan Bush moved Athena Health in there. Cartalytics is moving, uh, moved their operations in there. And so now you're having this new technology environment take hold on Pont City Market right along the Atlanta Beltline, which is one of the most transformational public projects, not just in the United States of America, but in the world. So folks like to compare it to New York's High Line. I say that um, they should compare the High Line to the Atlanta Beltline because ours is way cooler. The fact of the matter is we've invested $400 million in the Atlanta Beltline. It has attracted $2.4 billion in private support. Everywhere you go along the Beltline corridor, there are people who are building new residential stock along it. And then we built an Atlanta streetcar, which is 2.7 miles. It runs around our major tourism corridor. So you've got the Georgia Aquarium, which is one of the most visited tourist sites in America. You have the world of Coca-Cola, which has a million visitors. You have the Martin Luther King Historic District, which has more than a million visitors, all connected by the Atlanta streetcar. And within a five minute walk of the Atlanta streetcar, you've had more than $800 million in new residential development. So what you care about, uh, certainly in terms of what I've come to know about your business, and I know a few of your CEOs, what you all want to know about a city is, is the city going to be affordable both for your employees and for your business? And I can look you in the eye and confidently say yes, and then I can refer you to 20 CEOs who will also say yes as well. Do you have a government that works? I can look you in the eye and say that Governor Nathan Deal and I have as good a working relationship as any Republican and Democrat mayor 
in the United States of America? Will you have a talented workforce to help your company grow and become what it, the best that it can be? My answer is yes. Georgia Tech, Georgia State, Emory, Spelman, Morehouse is literally pumping out an array of graduates that will make your business become the best that it can be. Can you get to customers? Can you move around the United States of America and the world? My answer to that is no one does that better than we do it in the United States, and few do it better than we do it in the world. And finally, can you get an order? Can you continue to do business? I think that in Atlanta, because of the concentration of businesses you have, and because of where we are in America right now, we are the place to be. The fact of the matter is, if you look at U.S. demographics, the population is moving south and it is moving west. And so when I wake up in the morning, I think about making sure that the city of Atlanta is the dominant economy from the eastern border of Texas to the Atlantic Ocean and north to D.C., Maryland, and Virginia. I don't count Miami because unless you're trucking up 16, miles, 16 hours on the Upper Peninsula, I'm not really thinking about that. But if you look at that space, that's really the space that we occupy and that is the space that we want. And I came over this day because today because I understand where the future is going. And you all are an essential element of the future as people get busier and busier and busier. And I think there's terrific opportunities in your business. And I'm telling you that we have the fundamentals for it. How many people in the world today know that 70% of the electronic payment pr payments that run through the world run in Atlanta and right north of here in Fulton County in our financial technology business? Few people would know that. How many people today would know that Jeff Brecker and ICE owns the New York Stock Exchange? A fact that I like to remind Mayor de Blasio of frequently. You all, we have it here in Atlanta. Atlanta is a place where you can bring and build your dreams and be a part of this community in a powerful way. Logistics, transportation, they are in our DNA. All the way back to the days when the city of Atlanta was called Terminus. It literally meant the end of the line. And from the time Sherman made the decision to burn Atlanta to the ground, and then we made a decision to pick ourselves back up. Logistics and transportation have been a core part of who we are. And it's an essential element of every single thing you do. So I just wanted to come by to say thank you for choosing Atlanta for your meetings, but to respectfully ask that if you ever are going through a competitive process, process and thinking about where your next expansion should be or where your home should be, that you would just take a second look at us because we sure would like to have you here. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Mayor Reed. Uh, do you have time for one or two questions? Of course I do. Questions for Mayor Reed, we've got time for maybe one or two. Well, I think I deserve uh, some questions for throwing away this 35-page uh, <laughs> statistics they sent me up here with that was putting you all to sleep. I'll throw out one for you. So you, you talk about attracting business here. What would be the top one or two you know, reasons that those companies made those decisions to make Atlanta home? Transportation and quality of the people here. Um, you know, we live in a world right now where no matter what wonderful place you're in, when you're done doing your business, you want to go home. I don't care if you live in Mumbai or Singapore. It used to be a time when you traveled internationally for work. If you were someplace cool, you'd add a day. Now when folks are done, they want to get back home. And I think we do that better than everybody else, certainly in the United States, and I think we do it competitively in the world. And so then the second question becomes, what's the quality of life once you get to Atlanta? Um, for a very reasonable cost, you can have a very high quality of life here for yourself and for your senior leadership team. 
And then third is, are you going to have talented folks to help grow your business and work for you? So I think with regard to transportation, I think with regard to quality of life and the quality of our people, they really do make a difference. And with the quality of your workforce, we compete favorably against everybody in the Southeast. And that's really my job. I mean, what I think about day in and day out, a person that's graduating from Duke probably doesn't want to live in Durham. A person that's graduating from Vanderbilt I don't think really wants to settle in Nashville. You pick the school. So my job really is to be the magnet for the smart people who enjoy the Southern way of living and the Southern cost structure along with our labor practices, which are very business friendly. Thank you again. Appreciate you being here. Let's hear from Mayor Reed. I, hey, one thank more you. Actually, hold on, one more question here, sorry. No question about it. Got a little match going on called the Masters that you all might be getting up to over the next couple of days. Yes. Well, thank you very much.